I have taken here one cup of urad dal and I'm going to soak it for two to three hours. I have washed it and I have soaked it for two to three hours. After that, I'll grind it in the mixer jar. I have grinded it in the mixer jar and now uh, I have to grind it again. But don't add water here. Uh, I'm adding here two tablespoons of curd or yogurt, but gradually. Firstly, I have added here one tablespoon of yogurt and I will mix it again. And then again, I will add the rest of the curd. Uh, that is rest of one tablespoon of curd into it. And again, I will grind it in the mixer. If you need uh, water to be added, just add one tablespoon of water, but not more than that. Uh, the consistency should be thick, see, uh -huh. and the paste should be smooth. See, my dal has been grinded well, and it's a smooth paste. And now I will take it out in a bowl. If you add more water, then the batter will be flowy, so we don't want that consistency. And now. I will add one fourth cup of rice flour. This will give a very crispiness to our to our jalebis. And after frying the jalebi, and when you um, add the jalebis into the uh, sugar syrup, after taking it out, uh, till seven to eight hours, your jalebi will be crispy. So do add uh, the rice flour. And now mix it well. Keep on mixing. Cover it and rest it for five to six hours for fermentation. Now, in the meantime, I will make the sugar syrup. So I have added here around about two cups of sugar and I will add around about three cups of water. And I will let it boil till the sugar dissolves. It's been dissolved and now I will add uh, one tablespoon of milk here so that uh, it becomes uh, all the dirt from the sugar will come out and it becomes crystal clear. See, the sugar syrup has been crystal clear. Uh, I have added here uh, one big elaichi or uh, the uh, black cardamom and I have added here a few saffron thread too and uh, that I just forgot to show you that that time my camera was off. See, when it comes to one string, it, it's about to come one string and that time only you will switch off the gas. See. As the sugar syrup will be, um, you know, thick once it's cooled down. So this time, when it's about to come one string, at that time only, you just add a little bit of lime juice, around about uh, one teaspoon of lime juice, so that it doesn't form crystallize, and switch off the gas. My sugar syrup is ready, and now after five hours, see, the batter has been fermented, and it has increased its volume. And now I will mix it again well and I am going to pour it in a tube like this jar where you have a small nozzle or you can make a nozzle like this also. And now in the hot pan I have heated some desi ghee or you can uh, fry it in uh, oil also. So I have added here some desi ghee and I am going to add this my jalebi into it. And now. I'm just showing in another pattern. If you have milk packet or any a plastic packet, just make a cone from it and just cut a little bit so that it's easily pourable. And just make some jelly beans. Fry it till uh, brown in color. Remember to fry this jelly bean. Your oil should be warm. Small bubbles should come out from the sides, but not too hot. And slow flame, keep on frying your jelly beans till it's golden in color. And now dip it in the sugar syrup just for a minute and just take it out and serve the hot jelly beans. Hope you like the recipe and if you like, do try it in this holi and do let me know how did you spend your holi and how did your guest like these jelly beans. Garnish it with some pistachios and serve hot.